Hey guys, it's Hibiscus Moon. I'm here to talk to you today about crystal overwhelm, five ways to overcome it. All right, you ready for that conversation today? Um, I do have a question of the day. If you're watching this right now in the replay, just fill in the blank. I collect crystals, but I still haven't blanked. <laughs> or if you've done everything and you've just gone forward with them, then tell us that too. But fill in the blank. I collect crystals, but still haven't blank, whatever that is for you. I know because I hear this again and again from different people that they're overwhelmed by the sheer numbers of crystals and crystals have a way with us of just making us collect more and more and more. And next thing you know, we're just, we belong on hoarders, right? <laughs> and I have a whole blog series about that. That's a different topic altogether. All right. So does this sound like you? Do you have too many crystals and feel like you don't have enough time or you know i'm just wondering and i'm always kind of tapping in periodically on this um if this is a common problem among our crystal family members and i'm feeling now it's more of a problem than ever before um are you feeling like you're having a hard time organizing your time for you and your crystals to make time for you and your crystals um, you've got a ton of them. That's not the problem. It's having that time to make something of that or work with them effectively. Um, maybe you still haven't found the time or a good enough reason to learn how to effectively work where, with their power and to really tap into what that means. Um, do you collect crystals? You have good intentions of learning how to work with them. You're not sure why you have them or why you've been collecting them and you just keep collecting more and more and more. I hear a lot of that amongst beginners. Are your crystals just collecting dust? I've been guilty of that before. Um, maybe you've been just acquiring more and more and more of them lately, thinking a bigger collection is going to make it all fall into place. All the information and how to work them and, and you know how to work with them and most effectively. Maybe you keep telling yourself you don't have the right combination of crystals just yet and you fall into that trap of hearing people describe yet another crystal and you're like, oh, that's the one I need. That's the one I need and that's gonna make it all fall into place. Um, maybe you think you just need more time. You'll get to all that someday. You just wanna collect all the crystals now and someday you'll learn how to work with them efficiently. You know, big intentions to learn somewhere down the line, but you're just right now overwhelmed with daily life. Totally understandable, right? We all feel like we're in that place. But I feel very strongly that no matter how busy we are, we can make time to have that learning and that experience with the power of the crystals happen now. There's a reason you're being called to them. You just need to put the proper things in place to get out of that overwhelm and get out of that kind of like just collecting, collecting, collecting and letting them collect dust and not actually getting to working with them. So five ways to overcome that overwhelm. All right, number one, choose your crystals with your intuition. You know, forget about that whole thing of which is the crystal, the best one for this and which is the best one for that. And, you know, the different meanings and people telling you, you know, uh, in books that, you know, you need this one for that. You just let go of all that logical mind type of stuff and go with your intuition. This is key. It's what I'm always preaching. It's what I teach in my course. Just use your intuition. It always knows. You will just know it. Listen to your gut or your belly wisdom, as my friend Jacqueline Dubois likes to say. I love that term because that's going to get a lot of the overwhelm up and out of the way. You can forget about studying all those books and trying to learn more and more and more. Just go with your intuition, right? The other stuff will come, all right? Well, we'll talk more about that. All right, number two way to get out of the overwhelm is to just give up control. You don't need to be in control of it all. And you don't need to personally figure out how to successfully work with all the crystals all by yourself being in control of the whole thing. Let that all go. Stop trying to do it all yourself. There are other people 
who have figured out a lot of things successfully for you. So why do you need to put on your shoulders reinventing the entire wheel? All right, just do the parts that you enjoy doing, the parts that feel fun of working with crystals. If that feels enjoy, enjoyable, if it's resonating with you, it feels fun, then do it. But you don't need to, like I said, reinvent the wheel or figure it all out from scratch yourself. You can like cheat and work with someone else who's already figured out all that stuff for you, who has already tested, who has already researched for years, like taking a trusted course. I'm going to plug my own course here, Hibiscus Moon Certified Crystal Healer course. And you get to learn from a mentor or a trusted teacher through their mistakes, through their trials, through their errors, and eliminate all that wasted time. And if I'm not the one that resonates with you, find another crystal teacher that does. So you can stop the whole thing of trying to do it all yourself. Unless, of course, that feels like fun to you and not overwhelming. You need to discern that first because some people will just keep on keeping on and they're like, I got to do it. I got to do it. And they, do, they don't realize it for a while. I've done this before, too. Wait a minute. This is not fun. What am I doing? There's another way. There's an easier way. And I can just oh, take that burden off my back. Okay, number three. I didn't quite know what to call this one. So I just called it bookworms aren't all that. <laughs> so let me explain. Do you feel like you need to gather up all the crystal books and you need to memorize all the crystal meanings? We tend to really look up to those who have all that book stuff memorized who can rattle off the crystal meanings according to different books. Let's just put aside the fact that a lot of what's in the crystal books is contradictory information. <laughs> so let's put that aside for a second. But you might be falling into this trap of it, if you think that someday you're finally going to remember what all the crystals are and what all their meanings are and what to use them for. Or maybe you even think that someday you're going to read enough crystal books and somehow remember what all of the thousands of crystals are and what to use them for. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Just forget it. Because do you know how many minerals there are? There's over 4,500 and counting. They're discovering new ones all the time. So you're never going to do that. You're never going to be at that level. And there's nothing wrong with, by the way, looking up a meaning. That's okay too. Um, so that should relieve some overwhelm right there. I teach how to go beyond the books in my course and really kind of leave that all behind. Um, there's another reason behind why you really don't want to put too much weight into doing that, but I'm going to get into that another day just because things are changing, guys, so we can't put too much weight on that. And I also want to remind you um, to get on the wait list if you're interested in my certified crystal healer course. Fall registration is coming up soon. It's back to school time for us. And this is going to be it for 2018. I'm not registering again. Um, registration will be open within the, ne within the next two weeks or three weeks or so, something like that. Um, but in order to get the invite, you need to be on my wait list. And wait list gets perks, guys, that regular people who just register don't. So being on the wait list is really a good idea if you're interested. Um, registration is closed right now. To get on the wait list, go to hibiscusmoonjoin.com. Under the video, you put your name and email right there and you'll get on the wait list, okay? It's hibiscusmoonjoin.com if you wanna get on the wait list. Okay, so tip number four for overcoming this overwhelm. So it's actually like a two-parter. It's about overcoming the fear of failing at crystal healing. Is that a big thing that gets in your way? Think about it. Do you, are you afraid that you really, you really don't want to start because you really are afraid you're going to fail and then you're going to be like, oh, this whole crystal thing was just stupid. Why did I buy all these crystals? All right. So do you have a fear of failing? And I've got two ways to get yourself out of that. Okay. So just tell me, is that a thing? You know, do you think that's getting in your way? All right, so we'll call this one A, part A. Now, I really even hesitate, even though I say it all the time, to call the work that we do with crystals, crystal healing, crystal healing. But I continue to use that word because so many 
don't understand what you're talking about if you call it anything else. So I just stick with that. So crystal healing, therapy, energy work, light work, whatever you want to call it, you know, many people think to themselves when they hear that, who am I to think I can do this? I don't, who am I to do this? I'm going to fail. It won't work wrong. I'm here to dispel that for you today. Absolutely wrong because you cannot fail. You're coming at it from the wrong mindset. First of all, bear in mind that when you're working with crystals, the healing, the work taking place is a two way street. Okay. It goes both ways. You're receiving as well as giving, but you're actually not the one who's doing the giving or doing anything. You're simply acting as a facilitator, as a conduit for the work to take place, okay? You're a facilitator working with the crystals. The crystals are a healing tool and a support. That's it. So that takes a lot of the pressure off, right? You're not the almighty healer. It usually... When people understand that and realize that, and of course I get much deeper into it in my Certified Crystal Healer course, when they realize that, it usually totally dissipates that fear, that weight on our shoulders that so many of us have around this sort of work. And then they are like, oh, after I realized that, I'm able to dive into this and I was doing, I'm doing a great job. And everybody says so. And it's amazing how just changing your mindset around that releases you and frees you to do the work in a really successful way. Okay. Now I said that there was two parts to this. So part B is giving you the confidence. And in today's day and age, in our society, like it or not, understanding the science behind how the crystals work gives you huge super mega confidence in your work because now you can totally explain it to anybody who asks all oh, this woo woo stuff how does this work you can totally explain how it works why it works and hold an intelligent conversation about it that totally having that solid foundation of science in your back pocket totally eliminates any fear around doing this work with crystals I hear it again and again and again. It allows you to explain to others how it works and stand up to any kind of ridicule that may have started with. That ridicule melts away. And guess what else melts away? Your fear. Your fear around working with the crystals is gone. Next thing you know, you're diving into it. So does that make sense to you? All right. And then number five tip on overcoming the overwhelm, literally let go of some things. Okay. So is your, are, are, do you think you belong there? We actually had a crystal hoarder on that show hoarders guys. And I'm not making light of this. I have a blog post series, a two part blog post series on, on that topic on my blog. <laughs> is your monthly bill at your metaphysical shop or an online rock shop higher than your food bill? And I'm not messing around here. You might laugh. I'm not kidding. And is that a problem for you? So you you keep acquiring more crystals, but you don't really use them, or you're you might not have even taken them out of the box. You're not properly displaying the ones you already have. You might not even remember that you have some, and then you buy them again. So downsize your collection if you need to. You know, if if you're intuitively feeling like, yeah, that's me. Quickest way to cure crystal overwhelm is to stop trying to collect every single dang crystal out there that you hear about. So simplify your crystal collection. I know this is sacrilege, right? <laughs> and the crystal sellers are killing me right now. They're like, ah, what are you saying? But just for temporary, for a temporary time, I've done it. I've done it several times where I've purged my collection down to a bare minimum set until I get really in there and working with them again. And then I start collecting again. No one says you can't recollect and get, and it's, it's kind of like part of the fun, you know, right? So if you need help with this one, 
And, you know, again, I'm not laughing about this. We can make light of it, but it can also be a serious problem. Check out my two-part blog series on that topic. Go to hibiscusmoon.com. In the search bar, just type in hoarding or hoard. The two-part series will come up. So that's a big one for letting us feel like, okay, I can just focus on these five crystals right here and, you know, make some money, sell them online, on eBay, whatever, um, and, and clear out not only your mind, but your energy. And you'll be able to connect with those crystals so much better. You're going to know those crystals so well, and you're really going to create a strong bond with them once you start working with them. All right, so the bonus tip is take action now. So to get rid of that overwhelm, quell the overwhelm, engage in a specific crystal activity as soon as possible. Schedule it into your calendar now. So go on your little phone or on your calendar on your computer or write it down on your calendar and make sure it happens. Whether it is doing a meditation for five minutes with a specific crystal and write down which crystal that's going to be. Maybe you're gonna do that three days in a row. Or perhaps it's to use a jade roller and add it to your morning routine every morning or every evening. Or perhaps it's to drink a gem elixir or to create a gem elixir and you're going to do it at the next new moon or full moon. Put it in your calendar, but schedule that crystal activity as soon as possible. Maybe it's tomorrow morning to journal while holding a rose quartz. I mean, I could go on and on here with all the ideas of things that you can do, but taking that action step as soon as possible pulls you out of that overwhelm and takes you out of that feeling of, oh, someday I'll get to be doing something or, or I'm not doing anything with my crystals. I'm actually doing something now. It's in my calendar and don't skip it. Make sure you do it. Set a reminder, a ping, put a post-it note on your refrigerator, whatever it is. Let me tell you a little secret about someday. I have someday lists going on all the time, but the things that you really, really want to do someday usually never gets here and never comes. And there's no guarantee that any of us are going to wake up tomorrow morning either, right? Not to be morbid, but don't put off what you can do right now for someday. Sometimes we would create all kinds of reasons that can indefinitely support our putting off stuff, putting it off, procrastinating. Come on, think about it. How many things have you said, yeah, I'll get to that later, I'll get to that eventually, bucket list, someday, have you actually completed? All those things that you've said that to, what have you actually accomplished and completed? Okay? And if you've decided that you're totally okay with just collecting the crystals and never actually putting them to any use, that's great then you're doing it. You're there. No reason to feel overwhelmed, right? But if you've got other ideas in mind, you know, you got to do something. Put a plan in place and take action on it. There are many other people in the world who do the just collecting crystals and never put them to any use, and they're very happy just doing it that way. That's it. Just the collecting makes them happy. And I think it's wonderful to collect something of such beauty. But if you do really want to get working with your crystals in an effective, efficient way, understanding and experiencing the power of them, learning what they can do for you as well as for others, if that's something you want to do as well, then get to it. Finally, get to it. I mean, procrastination, all of us do it and all of us get stuck from time to time. You might not even realize that you're procrastinating at all. Maybe this is like, oh, hey, you know what? That fear really has me immobilized. But if you do realize that you're just putting it off, you're putting off working with your crystals and you do really wanna realize, experience their full potential and get your motivation going, don't think about it don't talk about it. Don't even comment about it here. I mean, you can, but you also need to 
finally start learning to work with your crystals. You need to do it. You need to do it. You need to figure out the plan and put it into place. All right, so put whatever that activity is going to be into your calendar. And if you want to take it to the next step, I can help you do that. If you'd like to know more about my own method, my tried and true successful crystal healing method. And I'm not afraid to say that this has become, my course has become like the gold standard, the industry standard for becoming a certified crystal healer. It's the most well-known crystal healing methods backed by science. And I'm constantly upgrading and putting the cutting edge information out there. And you wanna join a class of over 1,500 successful graduates, Hibiscus Moon certified crystal healer graduates around the world. We're not just in the US. Um, then you might be interested in becoming a Hibiscus Moon certified crystal healer. So if you wanna get on the wait list for the fall registration for my certified crystal healer course, like I said, this is gonna be the last one. This is it for 2018, back to school time. Registration is closed, but it's gonna be opening in a couple of weeks. Get on the wait list because there's good perks for being on the wait list that other people don't get. Go to hibiscusmoonjoin.com under the video. Put your name and email in there and you're on the wait list. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you had a wonderful day, a wonderful time here with me today. I'm grateful for you joining me. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed talking this topic over on overwhelm with you. I hope it pulled you out of overwhelm and helped mobilize some of you on your path to working with your crystals. Mm -hmm.